another three quarters of a meter. We're doing the geophysical survey uh, here at the, the earthwork site called uh, Knock and Rath, just next to St Colmac here on the Isle of Butte. And uh, we're doing a electrical resistance survey uh, this morning. We've been doing it for the last couple of days on the site. Uh, and the volunteers here from the Discovery Project uh, are, uh, are just uh, taking some probes across the site on a, on a laid out grid that we've measured out here. Um, and they're taking readings every half a metre um, with the device, which essentially passes an electrical current through the ground and allows us to record variations in the electrical resistance of the subsoil. Um, and through the magic of archaeology, that allows us to identify where there might be a buried ditch or a buried wall and, and tell us a bit more about the site in general. What's your feeling about the site? Well. Nochenrath is one of those great sites where archaeologists can't agree exactly what it is. So uh, it creates a degree of mystery and a great deal of interest. And my feeling about the site uh, is that it could be one of many things, really. Um, there are, are several theories that have been raised more recently um, and in the past. Uh, some hold that they we're dealing with a prehistoric ritual monument here, perhaps a henge. Um, others think maybe we've got some kind of earthwork castle site or, or a rath as, a, as they're also called which could be anywhere from the late Iron Age to the, the medieval period. Um, but the most uh, recent and, and perhaps most interesting theory uh, that's come to date through some of the, the new place name evidence that's been looked at for the, the Discovery uh, the Discover project here um, is that it could be one of these Viking meeting places, um, which were also called Ting sites. Um, and that's really my research interest in general. So I find it a very compelling thought that we could have um, one of the great kind of early court meeting places, legislative sites for the early medieval period. Get these two slackers to do some more. 